During the summer months in Hawaii, thrips, mites, and flea beetles can cause severe damage on monoculture eggplant systems. High populations can cause defoliation and wilting. Planting eggplant with insectary plants such as oat, sun hemp, or cilantro will modify the beneficial arthropod community. In this system, oat and sun hemp were strip mowed as surface organic mulch. The mulch provides a favorable niche for spiders and other beneficials. Cilantro attracts beneficial predators such as hoverflies and lady beetles. Flea beetle damage will still occur, but with the addition of various lady beetles, the pest population will be manageable. In the event that intercropping is not an option or the timing is too late, one beneficial arthropod that can be introduced is the minute pirate bug using male macaranga flowers. Male macaranga flowers are pollinated by thrips, and in Hawaii, the thrips are often associated with their predators, the minute pirate bugs. Minute parrot bugs feed on thrips and mites, thus introducing the flowers will provide a quick method to release the predators into the system. Lepidopteran pests were most abundant in a kale cropping system, which included the diamondback moth, imported cabbage worm, and the cabbage webworm. Lepidopteran resistance to insecticides provides incentive to look into attracting beneficial insects with insectary systems. Lepidopterans are chewing insects. Besides feeding damage, they also leave behind frass, which will render the product unmarketable due to food safety reasons. Installation of insectary systems for brassica crops attract predators and parasitoids to the cropping system. An insectary system with hydroponically grown pak choy can be seen here with a sun hemp border crop and an insectary row of buckwheat and a wasp nesting block. Planting sun hemp as a border crop will attract carpenter bees as well as lysinidae butterflies. Lysinidae butterflies are not normally a pest on cash crops and the eggs of the butterfly attract a parasitoid wasp, trichogramma. Adult trichogramma will then look for other lepidopteran eggs such as those on brassica crops. Indirectly, the sun hemp keeps the lepidopteran pests in check. A border row of buckwheat can also attract pollinators as well as predators like the aphid collecting wasp. Wasp nesting blocks provide a habitat for the predatory wasps as well as the solitary pollinators to lay eggs. Wasps such as the keyhole wasp and paper wasp are predators of caterpillars. An additional benefit of the wasp nesting block is the attraction of pollinators such as the leaf cutter bees and hyleus bees. Hyleus bees are recognizable by the cellophane membrane they produce after laying eggs in the hole. Flowering plants in the system provide nectar and pollen for the adults, and the block provides a nesting area. Here are some examples of insectary systems with different crops. Diverse species of insectary plants would help to attract high diversity of natural enemies of insect pests. In the event that farmers want to use native plants in insectary settings, a veo veo is a native Hawaiian plant that attracts mites and thus lures lady beetles. Alternatively, uhaloa produce small flower clusters along the stem that always attract bees and wasps. In agroecosystems, these wasps will then eat caterpillar pests. Growers can use these native plants as a field border for insectary purposes. Mm -hmm.